Hey everyone, this is Uthris, and welcome to City Skylines. So this is essentially a uh, pretty recent city management game that came out. Uh, it came out in pretty much nowhere from my uh, point of view. I wasn't really looking for anything. And then this came out, oh, about, what, a year ago now, I guess? It's essentially like the new SimCity that Maxis made, but uh, better in pretty much every account that I can think of. Uh, the mods are better. It came out with mod support from the get-go, so it essentially just took off it on its own. You can have way bigger cities on this. The traffic management is wonderful. Um, there is a few uh, lesser qualities, but I mean, just how much better just the core gameplay of it is um, makes up for that wholeheartedly. So, uh, let's see. I do have a couple mods. Um, I have a tree brush for doing tree detailing. Uh, no more purple uh, pollution color for industrial. It's changed to kind of more of a brown grass, more of a dry look, which is, I think, so much better. Uh, we have 25 spaces we can unlock, so we can unlock the full map now instead of just the nine. Uh, with precision engineering, it gives uh, angles of roads and actual unit counting, and uh, that's pretty much all that I'm using at the moment. Let me just delete this save because that's old. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and hop into the game. I did download a, a map. It's called Heart of the Alps. Uh, I think it it looked pretty cool. It's definitely not. It's probably modeled after a real location, but um, it's so such an interesting and diverse terrain that I think it'll be pretty cool to do. Um, and I am interested in making some farmland, which would be pretty cool, and maybe some lumber camps, more agricultural side of uh, towns. Springwood uh, is the name we're going to go with in this series. I can't name everything Lothloria or Freeport or Gwendale, so it's good to. Just change that up as we go along and we'll just go ahead and load in watch the little twitter bird go in a circle here um if you guys find the twitter feed in the game annoying then i can easily turn that off for you but uh at the moment i'm okay with it whoa we start out with railroads everywhere I think this is totally based off a real location if they're going into that much detail. I don't I don't even know how to work railroads. I have not played much of this game. I've had it for quite a while, but I've been more attached to certain um, multiplayer games with friends than playing a single player game such as this. And also Lothloria was taking up a lot of my time. But it is nice to look at. Uh, I don't really like the blurriness of the field of view. It seems the it's really narrow. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. I don't really want to look too in depth at it at the moment. We can go ahead and look at the full map that we can see here. It is fairly large, some really nice looking plains and uh, highways. So let's just go ahead and get started. It looks like we have to start down here at the moment. I don't know if I like these railroads. It's a really nice intersection and interchange, but, uh, oh, whatever. It's cool. It's part of the things when you download custom maps, they do make them look very customized. So we're just basically going to start out. I'm not using anything to give us like any unlimited resources or all the buildings starting off I am solely just doing this on the fly and we're gonna have to be unlocking everything on our own so it looks like these are the main enter and exit paths into town and then also has this secondary uh, exit and entrance man that has quite the interchange over there okay Let's just get started. I'm sure you're getting a little tired of my voice talking about nonsensical things. 
So, yeah, we have to start over in this section. And I'm thinking, because we have a nice little railroad section already laid out for us, I'm going to try and line this up the best that I can, like so. And we're going to put our in industrial uh, sort of buildings along these railroad tracks. I think it would fit there the most, for sure. And then what we can do, if I can do it, no, it doesn't look like I can. That, that's not wide enough to snap a road in the middle. What I do want to do, I guess, is just go out in this direction a little ways. And then we can curve the road just a little bit. So a simple thing here. Let's do 140 degrees. That's a fair number to do. Just to get away from the industrial. And then we can start building our town along this river. At least that is the plan. But what I do want is a 90 degree kind of intersection here just for later and then I don't know how I want to connect to this thing we can just leave it for now so 10 what kind of angle do we want not a 90 but let's do a 130 again Kind of keep with the flow. And that'll get us along the shoreline here. Five units. Come on, don't. Less snapping, please. So, yeah. I kind of want to do a winding road into town, something a little bit more scenic, uh, just because we are, I guess, in the Alps, based on the map name. And I'm sure this is wasting a lot of money in terms of that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and lay out a facility, or a power plant, at least. And then also look at the flow of water. And this does matter because if we put our drinking water here and our waste up here, people will start drinking waste water. So we'll put, let's just put our waste down here as far as we can go for now. Uh, these can be moved. And then bring this road into town. So they're gonna have a nice scenic route through the countryside. And I'm thinking this will actually be Main Street, if we can kind of curve it nice and gently along the river there. Because this is Springwood, so obviously we're going to have to be near the water. I know how to use a bulldozer tool. I'm not incompetent. So we might have a commercial district here at this main intersection. And then more residential as we get down into this area. But then again, spreading it out too much is probably a bad idea, but whatever. It's all good. Now let's go a 45 degree angle. Ten units. Oh, no. I want, I want, the, I want the straight road. So 45. And then uh, pretty much a 90 degree up. And then we can do another 45. Or something similar. And you know, oh, oh I didn't want to play yet. I don't know the hotkeys for this game, people, so you're going to have to bear with me. I am a complete noob. Ta 
tell you what, let's let's just make a nice kind of intersection there. I think that's pretty European looking, to be honest. And then we can also just stick a nice water tower in the center of it, kind of marking the edge of town. Also hook this up pretty much directly to the out sewage pipe. Follow this uh, along the road. And then this will give us nice water for most of our town initially. And what I can also do is adjust our budget initially down uh, to probably 80% because we're not going to need a 100% budget starting off for sure. So, let's, let's get rid of all these help menus because they're not very helpful. Get a nice little curve going. And seal that off. And then let's 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 do something a little different here. We'll do a kind of a cut that goes through this center shape here to give us an extra block. And then you know what? We can even go off in this direction. Do a another cut like thing. Connect it there. No, that'll be ugly. Let's, let's not do what I just did. Let's keep it simple. A triangle intersection and this direction will start expanding the town up in this way. Keep the industrial near the train track. We might even make a underpass or overpass by these railroad tracks and keep it near the highway, I think, initially. <clears throat> Everything's going to need some power, so let's go ahead and hook that up. This is going to be a longer episode, by the way, because initially this uh, process is going to take a little bit. Let's uh, run this power line along the river as well. So that's cool. We got water. then something like that, I guess. Yeah. All right, so let's start zoning. Since we don't have any dense things unlocked, we can just stick with uh, what we got here. And we will be unlocking, you know, bigger things as we get more people in the city and town. Excuse the clicking noise, I'm sure. That is kind of loud for you all, but my mouse really doesn't care about our feelings I don't think so we can do that that's kind of a town area and then uh, and it's commercial as you come in and then a little bit more uh, small town-esque as you can get farther away from the interstate we're also going to need some industrial starting out for sure Something like this. I don't know if these one little plots are really going to do anything, but I have to zone it just in case. And then I guess we can hit play. Let's speed up time, three times speed, just to see what we get going here. Houses are coming in pretty quickly. Traffic won't be coming in until a little bit later. I don't know where it spawns on this map. But, uh, it does take a little bit. But we're obviously having a bit of a population boom, which is great. Uh, Budget-wise, eh, probably need, don't need that much right now either. So we can just budget that down just so we don't get hit really hard initially in our pocket as people start moving in and expanding our population here. I like the idea of kind of really occupying this corner for the town, and then maybe we can get into some farmland out there, but we won't know that for sure until 
we get a little bit farther along and we unlock looking at the actual raw resources of things. Ooh, a train. Hey, train. Where are you going, buddy? You're transporting cargo to Santa Rico. Okay. Bye. Owner, Santa Rico. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know if that's a player town somewhere. And it's just, if it's just taking the name from the server or not. Or how that works at all. What do we got here? This is a Big Bite restaurant. That can either be a hamburger or a hot dog, depending on what angle you're looking at it. I personally think hamburger, judging from the name of the place. But it could be a big hot dog, so. Let's see. Yeah, just speed up time some more, get even more citizens in, paying taxes. Obviously, they're going to have to drive a little ways to get to work. Uh, but that's none of my concern. If you want to work at a pollution area, you're going to have to drive there. And really, in reality, that's, that's no more than a 20-minute trip. And here's all of our citizens coming into town to move in. We're getting a nice stream of traffic. Hmm, mopeds. We are definitely in Europe. Okay, they really want industrial. So let's pause for a second. Make sure we have enough uh, for them here. And if I continue the road here. Something like this will do just fine for our industrial district. Got to make sure our power is still hooked up. Yep. Still good on that. And just finish zoning out some industrial. And continue play. So, uh, yeah. That's going well. We're 17 minutes in. About halfway through the episode, which is great. I'm going for a really small town feel initially. Because we do want farms and things like that as we get out there. Power's good, water's still good. We're all doing good. Speed up time even more. Let these catch up. I don't have time to sit here and uh, just watch everything at a slow pace. Though I really should so I can actually listen to what my people need and want. But, uh, oh well. Box factory. Um, that's not a factory, nor is it a box. So why are you called that? You should be like, ball. You're just a ball. That's what you are. Frank's Fish Stick Factory. Again. You're not a factory. You're a ball. Uh, Frank's balls. There we go. And what are what are you? Garments limited. You're not making any clothes here. You, okay. I, I don't think the game understands. Why reason with it? It's not gonna work. Springwood. We'll just always have the factory called. Oh, it didn't save? Why didn't you save? That was the best name. Whatever. It's probably fate. Boothrist, you're being stupid. Naming things like that. Zones. Pretty much full up on residential. We're gonna have to start expanding again. So let's start doing that. Yeah, let's not start expanding that direction just yet. I don't think people want to live near the sewage plant just just right now. They're not they're not really fond of that. So let's uh, just bring up the city blocks, I guess. This direction. No.
Yeah, something, something like that. We're just going to go with a simple grid layout initially. I don't know what I'm doing. I have not played one of these in a very long time. And we are in the making excuses stage. We are a little hamlet. So we get education unlocked, uh, some garbage management, some health care, and uh, loans and tax management. So what I want to do, we also get some money for getting that achievement. What I want to do is go into my taxes screen, and this is going to encourage growth, I think. I could be wrong. I'm going to lower residential taxes by 3%. Increase commercial by one and industrial by one. So really it's just a 1% tax cut really But it's mainly on residential and my thinking is this will bring people in Keep them here and then that'll just increase the need for jobs So those increased tax rates will just cancel each other out and it will essentially be making the same You want water? You needy Needy little thing this is my complaint about this game right now. This is my only complaint. Uh, the whole piping. It's very reminiscent of the old SimCity, which is great. I love those games. But uh, I think the new SimCity does it better. Just because people would pipe along the roads anyways. I mean, there's, there's really no point to it. And then what we can also do, let just look at our power grid here. Since this is pretty much connected, I'm going to go in and delete these lines. One, they're very ugly. Two, it kind of prevents zoning. So, um... We can use this to actually zone some new areas, which is nice. See, so we do get a little bit of extra room just by doing that. And then as our town expands, we'll just keep deleting them and, and changing it around. As you can see, too, with the mod, uh, the grass is very brown and desolate, which I think looks so much better than just having purple. That purple color just killed me. Alright, so what's going to happen is, one, we're going to start getting fires. Um, Soon-ish. But also... What I do want to do is increase our education as much as po possible early on. And I'm going to try and place this building in the anticipation that we're going to start growing in this direction. So I really want to try and center this up. Try and cover as much as, much as possible. And that's going to be pretty much a full budget kind of building. And the same thing with our hospital. I'm going to try and cover as much as possible here. Space already occupied? What's occupying it? Okay. I think we can have a hospital just down the block. Like so. Obviously, increasing happiness dramatically through the town. We can continue. Mayor supports education. Uh, do I really? It's probably just so you guys can shut up and get better jobs and pay more in taxes. I think that's what it really boils down to. And so once we get educated, uh, our commercial needs will start rising. It looks like. So we can just finish out taking this to the edge of town. Like so. This is kind of the first shopping district for sure. Uh, our budget took a little bit of a hit by putting down a school and everything, but more people is coming in. It's kind of canceling out the effect, which is nice. Uh, they want more housing. We have a couple empty spaces still. So, so that will kind of take care of itself. They also want some more industrial and also some garbage management. So for that, we're just gonna extend this road out. 
put our landfill down. Put down some more industrial. Budget's still good. I would prefer to have about 1,000 uh, weekly income. At least for a good starter town, I think that's a good number to shoot for. And as you can see, our garbage trucks are on patrol uh, doing their thing. You know, picking up garbage because they're garbage trucks. And then uh, let's just keep expanding our residential area, I guess. Tell you what, let's do, let's do a curve. I haven't done a curve in a little bit, and curves look nice. So we'll just do a full curve here, and then let's connect it. Uh, yeah, how do I want to connect this with a curve? Seven by seven, something like this. Give us a nice curve section of our little plot here. And more residential. Let's, let's use the paintbrush. It can be faster sometimes. At least getting these little nitty gritty areas. We have unlocked some new roads, which is pretty cool. Huh. I wouldn't mind uh, some sort of roundabout. That might be cool at some point. They do work great. Can I even, like, uh, this road here because of the school? Yeah, I can. So, I was worried the school was going to cut off that access. Let's speed up some time. Next goal is a population of 950. And that'll be a worthy village. And then a tiny town. Starting to make some money. Our income's great. Oh, something I need. I haven't checked in a while. Water, okay. Power, okay. We're just gonna go ahead and increase their budgets. Uh, to about 90% each. How's education? It's doing all right. Gotta make sure water pipes are installed. Something like that. Yes, it's probably not the most efficient way to do your water pipes. Most people would just do lines. Just perfectly spaced so it captures a big area. Um... That's definitely a way to do it, but I'm kind of lazy when it comes to doing things like that. All right, we're a worthy village. We get some police, fire departments, uh, foresting, agricultural specializations. So I think that's what I want to start working on. I'm, I'm going to try and get a road out here and do some agriculture, I think. I don't know how this works. But if we look at our natural resources, never mind. We're not doing any agriculture yet. That's not going to happen until we get over in this this area. But we can buy another zone, which is pretty cool. This is a small map. I've seen some people with really big maps. I don't know how they do it. Probably just uh, finding it. 4,300 to buy a new zone. I would like to fill up this whole kind of peninsula first, but uh, I think we'll just hold off on getting that. Uh, pause the game for sure and get our firehouse. I'm going to put it over here. Um, that way we can cover the industrial and part of the town initially. And uh, just keep expanding, I guess. So, 
Now this main road is going to really get start getting busy. We're going to have to start adding second avenues and access points for sure. The building has leveled up. Where? Is it just this thing? I guess. I don't know. I don't even know how that works. So. But there is a big call and demand for residential, uh, commercial, not so much for industrial, which is great in my opinion. I would like to stay away from having large industrial areas. Uh, you want water too. Needy little thing. So tell you what, let's, uh, let's go out this direction. And try and get a nice curve. Let's, let's do a roundabout here, I think. That might be kind of cool to do. We'll try and make this as small as possible, really. And this will be used as kind of the second access point from the main road into this area. And will it connect? No. How about if we do a curved road? So we can bring this out straight and just slightly curve it. Come on. Snap. Snap. Yeah, that'll work. Why not? Roundabouts always look pretty nice for cities as well, so it's always something you can do. We have a power outage due to that, though. Wait, why am I doing it that way? I can connect it there. Pull those these sections out of the way. They're unneeded anymore. There we go. Need some water? No, we got water. I think that's just because of the power outage that we just caused. Just connect water to that area as well. And let's, uh, we'll do these two big zones residential. In fact, everything up to the roundabout residential. And then everything after we can just do commercial. Something like that. Speed up time a little bit more. Education's okay. Water's okay. Power's okay. Fire. Eh. Okay, so. I think that's gonna do us for this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, for some more gaming goodness. And then also check out some of my other videos, if you don't mind. Uh, I enjoy having you guys watch my content, comments on it, give me feedback. It's really what's keeping me here, for sure. The uh, channel, obviously, um, I haven't updated some Medieval Engineer stuff for a little bit. I'm getting a little burned out on it, to be honest. But I will be coming back to it. Uh, Stone Hearth tomorrow like normal, or maybe in the morning, if you guys are, uh, if I upload this one at night, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and you guys have a good one.